Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Holistic Healing Choices here. Now today, we're having a look at, if you can see that, LifeWave X39. Little patches, phototherapy, that are aiming to stimulate or get your stem cells to grow. This is another multi-level marketing scheme from LifeWave, who are all over the place, whether they're made in Ireland or Poland or whatever, the, as we'll get into. But, <laughs> Is it actually a thing? Does it work? Blah, blah, blah. Let's jump in and have a look. These little patches, as you can see there, it's got a little bit of cotton thing on it there, as well as a whole bunch of sticky stuff on it. These little patches are supposed to be something that phototherapy to get your stem cells to reproduce in your own body and take away injuries or help repair, heal, just give you more energy as well. Do they work? In a sense, yes. This is one that I've actually tried myself as well. My mum had received these from another practitioner friend who is on them and basically some of her words were, you put the patch on, you keep putting it on and then you die. This is another one where you're supposed to be on these for life. But what do they actually do? From my experience, I just put one on. Now, the whole approval thing with these is that they come in these little plastic knobs, these little balls. So, you stick that onto your patch, and then you stick that on a certain point, and it's acupressure, rather than just a patch that does something. I put it here because I've got a inflamed tendons in my foot. Pretty immediate whether it's a placebo effect or not, I'm not quite sure, but immediately, because I've also had a bit of a sore shoulder, especially when I hit the weights pretty hard, and you know, there are times where I can just feel it, grab, pull, whatever else as well. I've been working through it, but as soon as I put the patch on, that went away. The whole range of motion, couldn't feel a thing. The foot got better. I was more awake, alert, whether I could see a little bit better as well, I'm not quite sure. And given too that that was on the gallbladder point, the gallbladder channel, I thought maybe that has something to do with it. And what they recommend for these is that you wear them for 12 hours. You take them off so it can help you sleep and everything else as well. I left this one on for 24. Now they say that these are transdermal patches. The 24th hour, it more or less fell off. The stickiness was all gone, so it wasn't like a, a sticker or any other type of medical tape or anything like that where it stays sticky until you pull it off and you know you got hair and skin follicles off it much like the indoor fix patches the transdermal patches that they I actually say that they are transdermal with those as well the stickiness runs out so is it that you put them on for 12 hours you take it off before it really runs all the way out or is it an actual transdermal patch that they're pretty much lying about containing some form of drug. My mum tried it as well. Uh, for her, like, they suggest that you put it on your back. We put it on and it had a bit of an allergic reaction. I've seen people say this too in a little bit of a Facebook group and they say that that's detoxing. That's some pretty heavy detoxing and it's only detoxing right on the site of where you put it. Even rock tape is hypoallergenic and is for everyone as they can make it, still reacts with some people. And I've seen it have that type of reaction. So to say that and to say, you know, it's not an allergic reaction, but it's detoxing, I don't think that's quite correct. So there's all these things that I just don't trust with it. Now we did do a little bit of a street drug test. Okay, so here we are at work. We've got our LifeWave X39 patch. I have, this is just demineralized water. So what I'm going to do is pop this in here, into that, and hopefully dissolve a little bit of the stuff off it, the sticky bits around the edge here, or even you know, some of the stuff that helps that thermonuclear body dynamic phototherapy stuff. Have it dissolve into that and then test it on a drug kit to see if anything comes up. And so there we have it, fully submerged in the water, diluting, dissolving a little bit of that sticky from it. Now that was harder than it should have been. It is really, really sticky on there. Really adhesive at the moment. If I test it again, and then it's not as adhesive, then I think I'm 
into something good that it's dissolving into the liquid, and then hopefully we can count it up to death. To at least the level of the wavy line with the strips. Some that are soaking up. Okay, so T. Okay, well they've all come back invalid. They're all not ne negative. Some are right on it as well. Okay, they've all come back yeah, straight up negative. Because two lines is negative, no matter how light they are. Okay, come on. There we go. So it's none of these. Well, this isn't the way to test it. Okay, yeah, because all the sticks out of it. Yeah. It doesn't. Stick, so it must have dissolved into that, whatever the hell is in it. It's still a little sticky, but it's nothing compared to what it was. All right, well, that's interesting to know. So after soaking it in the best way that we thought that would elicit some sort of drug, it didn't actually test out. But then we took it to our machine. This is all allegedly, because someone said it may be a bit of a steroid as well, because it takes the pain away instantly and makes you feel better and blah, blah, blah. So we tested it against a Pregnizone tablet and it matched. Now, this is all allegedly, this is all maybe that's what it is, maybe not, who knows, inconclusive still, but there's that thing that happened there as well. So, I wore it for 24 hours, took it off, gave it a bit of a rest, then I put another one on for the 12 hours, then took it off, and then came the side effects. It was like withdrawal symptoms. Both myself and my mum, we both did the two days. She did only 12 hours and 12 hours. Uh, we both had aches, pains, fatigue, all the symptoms that you would have after going off a certain substance, like a drug, whatever, whether it be caffeine, whether it be nicotine, whether it be you know, something a bit harder. What are aches, pains that were abnormal? So, you know, someone who can do exercise and do whatever else and not be too sore. I was sore for a couple of days, more so than I would be in, you know, doing a hard exercise session. And uh, fatigue and mental fog and everything else as well. And then the pain immediately came back in my shoulder and foot. If it takes the pain away instantly like that, it's not actually repairing it, but it's masking the pain. So what is the go there? Did my stem cells all of a sudden just go, nah, we're not being activated anymore. Reverse everything back to the way it was exactly the way it was and you know give them some pain give them some aches and pains and everything else for a couple of days they're not going to keep us activating everything else so why bother we don't actually believe that it does what it says that it's going to do i'm no stem cell scientist so i'm not 100 percent sure but that sounds a little bit dodgy and then speaking to another friend as well if it does activate your stem cells what does that actually mean for you in the long term, if you keep stimulating and activating these stem cells, do you have a limitless supply or are you just shortening your lifespan? All you can seem to see around these things are positive comments about them. And yeah, if you're in dire pain, it may be a solution for you. They are hideously expensive and there are a lot of different patches and people seem to be using different patches in conjunction with each other. I don't know anything about all that, but that's just from what I've sort of read. Now, I gave one to a mate that had long COVID as well. He's you know, pretty much chair bound, nervous systems, always aching, everything aches and hurts and everything else as well. Didn't do a thing for him and I didn't want him to get worse. So I didn't say, you know, keep trying it in case the side effects afterwards, after he stopped trying it, if it did nothing, came back tenfold on him. So we don't know. We gave one to one of our clients, friend who <laughs> works in the hospital system to get an independent sort of test done on it but that had a whole rigmarole around it as well that needed all legalities and whatever else as well so we didn't end up getting that done unfortunately because we want to know what the hell is on these little patches we don't trust these at all are they what they say they are to the phototherapy side of things had it on my leg in jeans mostly because it was winter you'd think it'd need to be exposed to light someone actually did say that it takes the infrared the natural infrared that you know you emanate from your body and uses that as the light source for it so there's something in that maybe that's the only time that someone's actually addressed that 
directly because you know it wasn't even exposed to ceiling lights or anything like that because it was in my jeans leg pretty thick material not being exposed to light and it still had an immediate effect it worked at that point in time without light so that one does make a little bit of sense but once again i'm no scientist in being able to say that that works or not but it does seem like it's a little bit of a lie like it is a drug or something impregnated into that and released into your system transdermally and it does work pretty quick so that's another thing too the, the speed of which it works the immediacy of it does it just get straight into work straight into stimulating your stem cells or is there a bit of a pain relief in there as well to make it feel as though it's working so that you keep using it. The whole thing about multi-level marketing things is that you want it to work so people keep on it straight away. What are these things? What are they doing to us? What's the cost, both financially and health-wise, at the end of the day after prolonged use of these things? <sighs> but anyway guys, the company is all over the place and it doesn't actually look like there's a solid foundation for it. On the back of the packet it says that they're made in Ireland. If you look around the web too, they're all over the shop. So there's a little bit of uh, who knows what the hell's going on with the actual thing there as well. But what are your thoughts on the whole LifeWave thing? Do you use it? Have you used it? What have you found with it? Once again, if it's a whole bunch of bot things saying, yes, this works, this is so great, oh, it's a miracle, I can think, I'm gonna delete all those, get rid of those, and go from there. But anyway, guys, leave a comment down below, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm Rob Murphy, and I'll see you in the next video.